Welcome to our tech tutorial on Consumer Reports Database. To access this database, you'll first need to go to the library's website at cc-pl.org. You can see this displayed in the left-hand corner of my URL bar. Once you've reached the library's homepage, you'll need to go to the Resources tab. Underneath Resources, you're going to look for Popular. Once you reach the listing of popular databases, you're going to look for Consumer Reports. On this page, you'll find a description of how the Consumer Reports database can be useful to you, as well as how to access it from outside the library. Many patrons are probably familiar with Consumer Reports as they've been a trusted name in reviews for over 80 years. You'll probably be more familiar with the fact that they offer magazines that you can also find in the library. But the database can also be helpful because sometimes it can include information that is not included in the magazine, or we may no longer have that edition of the magazine in the library anymore and that information can still be accessed online. It helps you compare product reviews for things like cars, appliances, electronics, and more, and can be very helpful when you're trying to do important research for high-priced items. So once you decide that you need to visit the Consumer Reports database, you can visit the library or you can access it from outside the library using your library barcode and PIN number. We're gonna go ahead and click the red Visit Consumer Reports button. This is going to take us to a page where you need to input your barcode and your PIN number. I'm going to go ahead and enter that information now. But if you don't have your barcode or PIN number, you can call the library and we can help you get that information. If you don't have a library card with us yet, you can go ahead and register for one, a digital card, right here. You'll be able to access all of our digital information and you can visit the library to turn that digital card into a physical card later. All right, I'm going to go ahead and enter my information. We are now on the Consumer Reports homepage. First, let's talk about some navigation. Starting in the left-hand corner here, where the CR logo is, you can always click here to return to the homepage at any time. Next, Product Reviews, this tab, categorizes different types of products that they have reviewed. You can use it to quickly find different categories you might be interested in. Next tab is news. This is where they issue articles on different products and different things that experts suggest. Issues that matter. These are top safety issues that you might need to consider, such as coronavirus, car safety, data privacy, food safety, or things that you can take action on. And finally is about us. This is just information about Consumer Reports as a company. Underneath those options are the search bar. You can immediately type in here if you're looking for a specific product. Next to the search bar is the all products A to Z. You can click here to see all the different products they've reviewed from A to Z. Finally, in the top right hand corner is this little logo that allows you to see your account, your My Consumer Reports account. So account settings, my benefits, my products, if you've saved any products, my feed, and this is also how you can sign out. On the home page, they also feature certain articles that you might be interested in. And they also offer a quick way to see some of your more important my benefits, such as best time to buy, car recall tracker, or your test. So let's go ahead and start by looking at product reviews. We're going to return to the top left hand corner to the product reviews tab. Let's start with something that could be very important to anyone, such as electronics. A big purchase like an electronic can be very hard to decide which one is the best for you. So let's look at TVs. That's a common item that someone might want more information on before they buy. When you select a product like TVs, the first page you'll come to is an overview page. This will show you more information such as the buying guide, how many TVs that they've reviewed, as well as some related videos or recommended TVs. They also will feature news at the bottom of the page. If we want to look at ratings, we'll click this ratings tab. Here on the ratings tab, you can now compare different products. And so the really nice thing about comparing products on Consumer Reports database is that you can select which ones you want to compare. So you don't have to try to compare a whole lot of options such as the 182 TVs they reviewed. You can do, you know, up to three. 
And that way you can see the top three choices for you and see them closer together. So let's go ahead and look at some of the filters that we can use to narrow down what type of TV we're looking for. So let's go ahead and start with price. Maybe there's a certain price point that you don't wanna go over. So you can see here that the minimum price is $90. And here in the max price, you can go ahead and put in your max price here by typing it in. So say, I don't wanna pay more than $500 for a TV, or you can use this bar up here to adjust it as well. So I'm gonna do 500 and then we'll hit this apply button. And it'll go ahead and apply my price point that I do not wanna go over to all the TVs that they've reviewed. We can see I have 102 results right here. We can also decide if there's a certain brand that we like. I like Hisense. I also like LG. Maybe I would like to look at Sony and Samsung. And let's go ahead and add one more Vizio. So that's five brands that I know and trust that I would like to see suggested TVs for. So we'll go ahead and hit apply again. So now you can see I have a much smaller amount of results. I went from 102 down to 50. Maybe there's something we want it to be rated well for. So rated best for means I'm thinking I want something that has great sound quality, great HD quality, and then also maybe I want, you know, predicted reliability. And obviously there are other options here that you may want to choose. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply again. Now it's brought me down to eight results. That's a little bit easier to deal with, right? There are also more filters that we can look at. Things that are only recommended by CR. Maybe you want something that's internet enabled, something that can connect to Wi-Fi. Maybe you have a certain TV resolution you want or display type you want. Maybe you want certain streaming services like Netflix or Hulu to be automatically available on the TV that you're looking for. Do you need HDMI input? Maybe you're using a Roku Ultra or an Apple TV and you need to be able to connect that to your TV. Maybe you have a certain screen size you're interested in or energy costs. You know, there are a lot of options that you can continue to help narrow down your search. You can also sort them. Right now it's overall score is sorted high to low. I could just do overall score low to high. I could do it by price, price high to low or low to high, or I could do it by brand A to Z. But let's go ahead and look at the eight that they recommend. All right, so we have two Samsungs, another LG, and three more Samsungs. So it looks like, even though I selected some of the other ones, um, brands, that they weren't rated best for the things that I was interested in. So we're going to look at three TVs. So, you know, I think I want something that is not too large. So I don't want anything that is larger than a 60 inch. So I'm not gonna look at these two. And so if I want something highly rated, let's look at this LG here, the Samsung, and then the next best score is this one. So let's look at those three. So I, I by clicking this little add button here to the side of the product, I can add it to my comparison. And the ones that are green check tell you that those are the ones that you will be comparing. When I'm ready to compare, I'll hit this compare button right here in the right hand corner. And we'll go ahead and hit view compare. And it looks like you can now do up to five products. So I'm doing three at the moment. So up here at the top, when I'm comparing my three models, I can see their sc overall scores and the name of the product and their price points right here just at the top. And if I scroll down, I can start to see some of the survey results, predicted reliability, owner satisfaction, as well as some of the test results um, on picture quality, sound quality, privacy and security. I can see their screen sizes. I can see the resolution. Uh, it looks like they're all internet enabled. You know, um, you can see that they all can connect to Wi-Fi. But look here, on right away, I can see that this first TV, even though it's the highest rated, actually has the fewest amount of streaming services available on it. Now, it's only about one difference, HBO, but it, if you don't subscribe to HBO, then maybe that's not important to you, and it's fine that that one doesn't have it. They all have web browsers, and they all have all this other information that you can look at if you're interested. So you can go ahead and print this here by going and clicking 
this print option if you would like to take it with you to the store, maybe, while you're looking at it. Or you can leave your comparison and return to your um, ratings by hitting the ratings and reliability again. Another thing that, another product that Consumer Reports does really great at reviewing and can be very useful for a lot of people are cars. You can go ahead and start researching cars by their make, their model, or year if there's a specific car that you're interested in looking at. You can browse car ratings and you can see popular cars. They also have more tips on car buying and ownership and the best and worst cars. They can also help you if you are shopping for a car to look at buying new and buying used. And they have a lot of information on car buying and pricing. Things like the build and buy car buying service, used card marketplace, the trade in value estimator. They can offer you deals that you might not be aware of, like best deals on new SUVs, best SUVs under 40,000, or financing and leasing, how to best get your loan, the pros and cons of leasing a car. So they have a ton of information that can make the car buying experience much easier for you. They also offer a lot of tips on maintenance and repair. You can look at tires, car batteries, you know, repair cost estimator, um, reviews of car repair shops. There are a lot of information that can help you once you've bought your car to still be a good car owner. And of course, as always, they offer latest car news. And that is a lot of the information that Consumer Reports can provide for you um, on cars. So let's go back up to the top and I'll do a search really quick just to show you how easy it is to use. So um, we're going to look for a Honda. That's a pretty common car type. Let's look at a Civic and let's just say view all years. And so you can see um, as you scroll down that there are different um, years of the Honda Civic and it gives you just an overview of some information on um, each year uh, first so that you can kind of get an idea of what you want to look at. Um, you can go ahead and do some comparisons by uh, clicking right here to add a car to your comparison. Uh, or you can take it off um, and then you'll be able to hit that compare button up here in the right hand corner again to compare several cars. Or if you want maybe just to look at a very specific car, let's say I want to look at, you know, 2017, I know I'm not going to buy new. Um, this is a year I like or something. Um, you can once again add it to your compare right here in the left hand corner, but it's going to show you the average retail price. You can look at the local inventory. Uh, you can look at alerts, certain recalls that might be already um, affecting these cars, um, as well as other um, reliability ratings, road test um, information that Consumer Reports has collected. But that's how you can use Consumer Reports to help you with your car shopping needs, as well as your car care needs. Um, the last thing that we're going to look at today is going to be the My Benefits page. So if we go up here to the top right hand corner, we're going to click um, this drop down. We're going to go to My Benefits. And on the My Benefits page, you can find things um, that are available to you as a Library Plus user, um, such as the best time to buy, which are experts sharing monthly best deals, um, you know, your CR savings, deals, discounts, and other special savings that they know about. But the one thing I really want to talk about is this car recall tracker um, that can be very important for you and your safety with your car. So the great thing about the car recall tractor tracker is that you can find out if your car has a recall and what to do next. This is really important for your safety in case you don't get this information from your dealer, whoever sold you your car. Um, maybe you don't have emails um, that come from a dealer about your car or information. Um, you don't know how to look for it easily. Maybe you're not getting that notification in the mail. Uh, whatever it is, this is the easiest way to go ahead and find out if there is a recall. So for example, we were looking at, you know, Honda Civics a moment ago. So um, let's go ahead and click Honda. We want to look at Civic. And I was looking at the 2017. So let's just go ahead and look at the 2017, add my car. Um, under here, you can see other recent searches for car recalls. But we can see right here, the 2017 Honda Civic did have a recall on November 15, 2018. Uh, and this can... Um, 
let you know that you need to go in and maybe you haven't taken your car in for a major update besides an oil change since um, 2018 and maybe it was before November and you need to take it into a dealer or a mechanic and say hey this is a recall I didn't realize I had it and um, that that way they can fix it for you you can also click this button right here to read the recall details so you can keep scrolling down and seeing more recalls and making sure that you took care of all of these issues but that is how easy it is to find out if your car has a recall on it. And so those are some of the ways that consumer reports can help you decide what products to buy, how to look for a car, and other things that can help you be a great consumer. And I hope that you have a great day.